So another example, still on examples, example two, uh, okay, you can just say sketch. indicating all the intercepts. If n one f of x is equal to negative x plus one minus x minus three. So let's see what we get. So they're saying for this function, we first get each modulus, have it redefined. So this is x plus one or x plus one greater or equal to zero. This the very thing is negative x plus one if x plus one is less than zero. We're explaining this and defining this, solving these pieces here x greater or equal to negative one and negative x minus one for x less than negative one. So we're done with this piece. So we're saying this is x plus one. And then we go to the modulus of x minus three, that is x minus three for x minus three greater or equal to zero, negative x minus three for x minus three less than zero. Meaning x minus three modulus is the same as x minus three if x is greater or equal to three. And negative x plus three if x is less than three, like that. So we have two numbers again, negative one and positive three. In between negative one and three, we are saying, this is the interval where negative one is less or equal to X, but X is less than three. After three, it is the interval where X is greater or equal to three. Before negative one is the interval where X is less than negative one. So we have these intervals to do it. This interval, this interval, and this interval here. So now we bring in, we bring in now, so we curve here, bound here, Close up, close here, open. So we get the modulus of x plus one. Also get the modulus of x minus three. And get f of x. Slowly, we start talking now. When x is less than negative one, what is the modulus of x plus one? What is the modulus of x plus one when x is less than negative one? It is negative x minus one. What is the modulus of x plus one when x is greater or equal to negative one? but less than three. When X is greater or equal to negative one, we get X plus one. What is this function when X is greater or equal to three? This function is only defined in two conditions. When X is greater or equal to negative one, we know that on the way, if this is negative one and the function starts from here going inside, there will be a point when it, when it will be defined also when x is greater than three. So when x is greater or equal to three, the function is still defined there. 
as x plus one. Because any value that is greater or equal to three, for example, three itself, we are sure that this number is greater than negative one. So that's how we get that definition there. Then we go to the modulus of x minus three. What is the modulus of x minus three when x is less than three? X is less than three. The function is defined as negative x plus three. Now, if the function is defined as negative x plus three when x is less than three, what about when x is less than negative one? If x is negative two, obviously we know this number is less than three. So the function is still defined as negative x plus three. But when x is greater or equal to three, when x is greater or equal to three, the function is defined as x minus three. Then now, these two functions, putting them together to form f, we go back and check the signs. So f of x in the interval x less than negative one, what are we having? We we'll have negative, we we'll get the negative x minus one. This negative is coming from the function definition there. And then we come in the box and get that piece minus another piece from the box, negative x plus three. This is giving us x plus one plus x minus three. That is two x minus two. So we have two x minus two. Again, f of x is equal to negative, that negative there, x plus one, this piece, minus negative x plus three. That is negative x minus one plus x minus three. That is negative four. So we have negative four. And then, f of x is equal to negative, that very negative, x plus one minus x minus three. This minus here, so we get negative x minus one minus x plus three. So we have negative two x plus two. So negative two x plus two. We can now sketch the function. So I'll sketch it just here. So that you can see that it's not a big deal. So we have negative one and positive three. So in between negative one and three, starting from negative one, the function is defined as negative four. F of x is negative four. That's a constant function, negative four. Constant, including negative one, excluding three. It's constant throughout up to there. Beyond, beyond three, it is defined in this one. So we'll substitute. Let's substitute f of three because it's open there and three is included in the interval. So what would f of three? It would be negative two, three plus two. That is negative six plus two, which is negative four. So we'll come and close there. Then get a number bigger than three, let's say four. What is f of four? f of four is negative two, four, plus two, which is negative eight plus two, which is negative six. So negative six is lower than negative four. So it means that the function is coming down. Then we go the other side and pick negative two because here X is less than negative one. So we substitute in here. So what is F of negative two? That is two, negative two minus two. 
that is negative four minus two, which is negative six. Negative six is less than negative four, so the function is coming down. That is the graph of f of x. So what we'll do is to avoid the watching as if it's Italy versus England. We we'll have an exercise sketch one f of x is equal to one plus the root of negative x minus seven to f of x is equal to negative one minus the modulus of x plus three. Three f of x is equal to x plus four plus x plus six. It's the same thing that each question is just five minutes here. So at the 1745, okay, 46, because this minute I'm still talking, 1746, we log back and start class. Assuming that this work will be done. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Okay, three minutes for question one, three minutes for question two, then all the other minutes remaining for, uh, for question three. You can start. Uh, so, so you can send me the video. Ah, <laughs> after class. <laughs> ah, so I'm so, 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 <laughs> I wasn't in, sir. <laughs> Phil, I also wasn't in. Why is it? Ah, so this they, is uh, why look, they, this one, the third one, we are yeah, together. Yes, sir. After yeah, class, so, listen for the like for the yeah, first part. I'll send. So no, for the, at least for the last one, no excuse. We are together. We just saw this. <laughs> <laughs> So start. All right. Okay, so. okay sir.